Hey guys, welcome back to Shade Spill. Johnny Depp vs Amber Heard trial is just days away from concluding and people have been waiting to hear what the decision would be. An expert witness testified for Amber Heard's defense that Johnny Depp showed signs of misuse and IPV. And during his testimony, he gets humiliated by Johnny Depp's attorney, so let's get right to it. So, Amber Heard's team brought in an expert witness, and y'all, this expert is on something. A psychiatrist, Dr. David Spiegel, testified against Johnny Depp and during his cross-examination, he was very combative with Johnny's attorney. Dr. Spiegel diagnosed Johnny with narcissistic personality disorder and he explained his reasoning through his testimony. He also explained that Johnny showed signs of misuse and IPV. And FYI, this doctor never examined Johnny in person. So he has never met him and never talked to him. He only evaluated and diagnosed Johnny based on some of his Pirates of the Caribbean films and watching him through the media like commercials to assess his behavior. The doctor testified that Johnny's alleged use of an earpiece while filming may be a sign of decline or impairment from substance use, comparing it to an instance in his own field. Irrespective of the fact you know nothing about acting, you've testified that Mr. Depp's use of an earpiece is somehow a cognitive deficit? So if I was giving a lecture and I was fed my lines, I would think there's a cognitive deficit. So I'm, and maybe I'm wrong, I said, maybe I could be wrong, maybe Hollywood stars get lines fed to them through earpieces all the time, and I, I don't know. I, I, that could be said, it sounded to me to be unusual if you're doing a movie and you don't know the lines. So, Johnny's attorney literally asked him if he watched Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, in which Johnny starred as Willy Wonka when he was gathering data for making his assessment of Johnny's processing speed. And y'all, he seemed completely baffled at the question. So, but no, any of Mr. Depp's other portrayals in movies, did that affect your analysis of processing speed? Only I've seen him interact on interviews, and that was it. Right. When he wasn't in movies. What, right. But Willy Wonka doesn't matter to you? You, you see him in that movie, Charlie and Chocolate Factory? Did you look at that one when you were comparing his processing speed? Is that, do I have to answer that question, Your Honor? You have to answer questions, yes, sir. No, you'll be happy to know I didn't see Willy Wonka, as a, and I didn't see 21 Jump Street when it happened, whatever it was about. No, I did not. Johnny's attorney questioned Dr. Spiegel's ability to make such determinations without talking to him. Dr. Spiegel said he asked to speak with Johnny twice and was denied. His attorney asked if Dr. Spiegel knew if Marlon Brando used an earpiece. To this, the doctor was quick to respond, and Johnny's reaction to his response seems like he is over it. And, um, you know whether Marlon Brando used an earpiece? Whether, isn't he dead? <laughs> yeah. So the answer is no, he does not use one now. Oh, no, I, 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 I used the past tense. So. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, I, again, I know nothing. I... As if that weren't enough, Johnny's attorney also questioned Dr. Spiegel about whether he called Johnny an idiot. But Spiegel said the remark from a previous deposition was taken out of context, and it was part of a rhetorical situation he was discussing. All right. So I didn't call Mr. Deputy. I certainly called that planning. I didn't call him an idiot. So the words, so I mean he's an idiot, are mistranscribed? No, I'm sure, again, if I said it in that, if you just read one line, one snippet, I'm sure it was in the context I just said. But again, you have it in front of you, I don't. Yeah. Um, is uh, it a professional opinion? I wasn't running professional opinion. Yeah. No. Is it a psychiatric opinion? And that follows the, the Goldwater rule. Now, these wasn't the only bizarre moments throughout his testimony, Amber's attorney asked the psychiatrist about Johnny's propensity to eat candy and doodle during the trial, she asked this question because Johnny has frequently been seen doodling and eating gummy bears throughout the trial, and Amber's attorney apparently is attempting to tie the behavior to narcissistic traits, but the question got objected by Johnny's attorney, which was sustained by the judge. All right, now we've seen Mr. Depp during this trial doodling and eating candy, uh, what if any uh, evidence would that suggest that he has narcissistic traits? Objection, Your Honor. No foundation. I'll sustain the objection. After Dr. Spiegel's testimony, a Stanford psychiatrist, Richard Shaw, testified as a rebuttal witness, and he came to analyze Dr. Spiegel's testimony and depositions, and according to him, Dr. Spiegel's assessment was unethical because he violated the Goldwater rule that mental health experts are prohibited from diagnosing public figures without meeting or examining them. Anyways guys, what are your thoughts about all of this? Let me know in the comments section below. 
Make sure you guys like this video, subscribe, and turn on your post notifications so you don't miss another upload, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video.